I'm heavily reliant on my MacBook. I do a bit of everything, commercial and financial tasks, budgeting, working out wages, installation schedules, project planning. It's very process intensive. I'll often have large PDFs of floor plans open and that sort of thing. And the Mac just handles it so well. I can just switch between everything so easily, switch between screens have two screens open at once, handles it without breaking a sweat. And the other big thing is the battery life because I'm not necessarily in an office the whole time. I can often open it up on site with confidence and know that there's some battery left there. That's a very, very big plus. We're a family-owned, family-run business, the largest independently-owned manufacturer of cabinetry in South Africa. We take a lot of pride in what we do. I don't have a routine. I'll be walking the floors, I'll be checking on the quality of the work, if things are going to plan. You do whatever it is you need to do. Because what we do is aesthetic, it's visual, we're fitting cupboards. The easiest way to sort of communicate, especially with our team, I'm heavily reliant on my iPad Pro and on my MacBook because I'm on site a lot. I take photos, I use the Apple Pencil to draw my comments or, you know, change things around and then I send it to my team. When you're moving around and your attention is constantly split, it's much easier to press a button and say, hey Siri, remind me to check on this at this time. I like the fact that my reminders will trigger whether I'm on my Mac or my iPad, on my watch, on my phone, my reminders are always there. If I'm on site and I'm taking a note, if I wasn't expecting to meet with someone and someone says to me, Dan, please can you walk with me? We need to see a few things. I know I can take those notes down on my phone and I know that I'll be able to then recapture that rough note on my Mac when I get back to my desk. The multitasking ability with the processing power of the M1 is very, very big difference between that and the more entry-level Macs that I have used historically. You have more than one window open and you're sort of trying to multitask. I really noticed that extra real estate on the screen really helps me. I'm up and down a lot. I've always got my backpack on me. Even when I'm not sure, I'm on the road a lot. From the outset, I need a robust product. I need a good quality product. And the nice thing about the aluminium casing of the Macs, they're sturdy products. They're reliable, and I don't have to worry about them as much. Since I've been using Mac full time, which at this stage is probably 13 years, or whether it be studying or working, I've never had a computer last as long and not crash and not have a battery issue and not have software issues. You know, it's just reliable, it works well. It makes good use of what's available to it. That's why I like Mac.